Kuchu everybody, it's AJ here again, and today I want to go over output in Python version 3. In my other two videos, I covered um, things you can do with the print statement in Python, which is a basic way to show output. You can print out numbers, which are, you know, integers. You can print out numbers with decimals, such as pi 3.14, and you can print out, you can print out string, and you can print out strings. And that's all we know about so far. There are a few other things. But now, instead of going more in depth to that, I want to talk about the input statement. The print statement is an easy way to do output, but the um, input the input statement in Python is how we're going to do input. So the way you do input statement is well, you do an input statement to take input to, to take input to ask the user for input and say, hey, can I get some different information? Just like you know. Google or NSA uses your information to display things or output certain information. We're going to do that in this program. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to simply write some Python. So let's say I wanted to ask the user for a num. I'm going to declare a variable called num, and then I'm going to call a method called input. And input, if you, if you guessed it, um, is a nice way of telling Python to say, hey, take in whatever the user types. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to tell the user to type in a number and then I'm going to give it a space. And what's going to happen now is I'm going to run this program. I'm going to bring up the console right here and I kind of put it out of bounds. And when I run, when I print it out, I, it's going to ask me to type in a number and I'm going to give it 123. And then I'm going to press enter and my program has stopped because that's all I had in my program. That's all I had to do. And so right now I'm going to assign it to num, to print to print and I'm going to print num. So now I'm going to ask it for an input. I'm going to ask it for a number. I'm going to print it and then I, I'm going to ask for a number. I'm going to give it to him and then I'm going to print it. And as you can see here, I typed in, it said type in a number, type 345, and then it printed out 345. So input is a really easy way to get input, assign it to a variable, and then use it in your program. So another thing I could do that's pretty cool is instead here I could I could go to num I could do I could have set num equal to something because now I have my input I could say I could now what I could do is I could take num and I could add 5 to it so I could I could set it equal to num plus 5 and what's happening here is something that if you're new to programming you may not realize but everything in programming is evaluated from the right to the left. So what's happening is the value of num, oh sorry that's a very bad color, is the value of num on the right side here on line 8 plus 5, is the, the old value of whatever I entered is getting added by 5 and assigned back to, not, to num. So I'm increasing the value of num plus 5 and then I'm going to print it out. So let's give this program a run, shall we? And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in a number, I'm going to type in 123. And we got an exception, can't convert int object to string implicitly. So what is happening is something I want to talk about. And that is how the input method more specifically works. And what happens in the input method is that whenever I run the input method, you know, it asks for my input and I can type in anything I want. I could type in a number, I could type in a string, I could type in, you know, any uh, numbers or strings are really the only ways to convey information. It's just in different forms, correct, right? So what happens is when, is when input is called, it is automatically made a string. And a string, you know, is just a subset of characters. It's just A, B rolled together. And so now, and so, when I get to this, I have, num is already is a string. It may be a string of 125, but since there's double quotes about it, it's a string. And you cannot perform mathematical operations on a string. I can't say, you know, ABC plus 5. I have to say 123 plus 5. And so the way I can turn this, the way I can turn whatever I've taken from input into an integer is... I pass, I do this thing, and it's called casting. It's called I change the string. I use a method on the string that input is going to give me, and I'm going to make it into an int, and then I'm going to assign that int to num. And what that's going to do is it's going to change the string that I receive from input to an integer, and then I can perform mathematical operations on it. So 
without further ado, let me, let's try running this program again now that I put that integer function around my output. So I'm going to say 123, and it gave me 123 plus 5, 128. So my program works now. And so what this integer is doing, what's, what this in, int command is doing here, I can make it more clearly, is that the integer is surrounding the input. So what's going to happen is just like in math, things get, the parentheses get done first. So whatever's inside the pr innermost parentheses gets done first. So what happens is input gets run, and then, and then once input ends, it returns a string, and that string may be, you know, one, two, three, or uh, A, B, C. And then th I have this integer function, and what that integer function does is it takes a string, and it turns it into, it converts a number or string to an integer, as you can see by that nice little method header right there. And so that's really cool. And what I also note is the integer method, the int method, will try to convert an integer to string. For instance, if I ran this program and did a b c, uh, did a b c or a b c, I would get an error because it can't convert a b c to a number. You know, it will only be able to convert a number, a string to a number, if the string actually is a number. So no, doing a b one two three, that isn't a number. You have to give it an actual number. So there are also ways to turn integers into strings. And one thing, one way you could do that is you could do num equals str. str is short for string, and then I could give it to num. And what num does is it prints, as, it prints it out as a string. And so that's another way, and that's another way to print out a string. And you know what, just to show you guys, I will try to add five, which should give me an error right here, as you can see. And I'm going to run the program again. I'm going to type in one, two, three, and it says can convert int to string implicitly. And that is because I am trying to go from, I'm trying to go from the integer object to the string and it's not working on this line. It shows you the line because it can't go, it can't take the, it converted the num to a string, but it's still not working. And maybe I'll show you guys, I still can do this though. This is still entirely possible. I can still run a string through that, make it a string, and still output it, because you can output strings or numbers in Python, remember that. So that's a quick and dirty, easy way to do um, input and output in Python and how the input method works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you guys have a great day.